Hey guys, uh, welcome to the video. We're going to talk about the new Fusebox tool. Specifically, we're talking about the free the free tool. Um, I found yesterday as I was attempting to set this up for my website, it kind of difficult to set up just the free plan. I, I signed up for the free plan. I don't think I have enough uh, traction to really justify having all of the fancy players that they offer. So when I can do a lot of what they offer kind of for free, that's the the multi the multiple player and the in the in the single episode player, single track player is actually what they call it. So I was trying to go through this and it was tough yesterday. So I came over and so you get in here, see there's the full player, there's the track player, but what you get with the free plan and I'll bring that up here. I hope I have all the tabs already open. So here's the pro, here's the free. And this is all you get. The only player that you get when you get the free plan of Fusebox here is this site-wide sticky player, not the full player. Or the single track player, which you would put kind of in a blog post uh, related to, you know, the, basically your show notes page that you would be creating for that for that you know, after someone downloads it from Apple or Spotify, whatever, whatever they're using for their podcast. And what I really wanted it for was here the the script, the transcript plugin, which so you can see you get a lot more features here, and all of this stuff kind of shows up here. I guess I'm gonna add pro features to it, but I was really having trouble finding in there. So when you come over here to their Here's the setting of your player. Here's the customizing your player, technical troubleshooting, subscription. And then these are, this is the old, what they used to call it. Uh, I guess down here is the, where the sticky player is. But, oh, and here's, they just added, this was not here yesterday. I did not see this yesterday, the transcript. Plugin. This is the only place I could find it. But I did have that brought up here so you could kind of find it, find that link. But you can come all the way down here, which to get this, which I was having trouble finding yesterday. And plus it's a little bit tough because when you when you kind of break this down, seeing what you actually get, you do need to download both tools. So I'll go through now. Um, this is the front page, I'll, I'll come in here. On the tools page, you will have to download both of the plugins. And this is obviously if you're checking out Fusebox, I hope you found this because you're looking for some, you were having trouble with support like I was. Again, Fusebox, here's a couple of limitations I'll go over real quick because I had a little misunderstanding when I signed up for it. The transcript plugin does not do the transcript for you. It allows you to load a transcript that you, that you get from someplace else of your podcast onto your website. So it will it, it kind of helps you host it on your website, not do the transcript for yourself for free. Kind of thought that. And you kind of I, I don't necessarily know if you if, if you don't want to have the sticky player, I don't necessarily know if you have to download that. I'll show you what the sticky player is uh, in, in a moment. But I don't necessarily I obviously have both because I, I just I was trying to fight with this yesterday and wasn't sure where we'd get. So and then here's the player. You can download that. So I'll click downloads to bring them both in. And then we'll go over. Once you've downloaded both of the different plugin zip files, you can come into your back end of your WordPress. And then on your plugins here, you just come in. You, you click. Uh, you are going to want to do a backup of your website just in case, you know, something drastically goes wrong so make sure you've backed up your website uh, you click the upload and you choose the file and hey look 80s pop culture <laughs> questions here's your here's gonna be those two here they are and you just you know you add the one the player and then the transcript so you just click the open and then you'd click install now i already have it installed so i'm just going to kind of bounce off of bounce off of this and and not upload that and then you would repeat the process for the other one you know you come into your plugin click the add new click upload plugin again and repeat it with the other file 
and then they'll both show up. So when then come in here and in settings, this is where you'll see them. Ah, uh, you're gonna have to. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me. I, I skipped a step there. You just want to click on your actual plugins, and you'll see. And here's where they are. You're gonna have to activate either one or both. I know for sure you have to you have to activate the transcript one, and yeah, I think you have to activate the the player one as well. Um, I do find it interesting that they that this is from because this is a Pat Flynn brand that they SoundCloud they must be just more popular because Pat uses Buzzsprout. We'll we'll hop over there in a half second to show that part. So in the fuse so then when you come into your settings so the only thing fuse box player so this is where i was really getting messed up because it's once your once your license key to to actually post uh, a player on your website and this is where i was getting confused when i was coming over to support because when it says setting getting set up it really only talks about setting up those other two players, the single track and that, and that multi one. So, I mean, it's going to walk you through, you know, setting up all that stuff. And, and look at step four is when we're already, we've already installed the plugin and you're going to do all this, but here's the full player track player, nothing about the sticky player that you get. So that's all we're going to do is come over. What, general this is the license key if you did pay for the for the fuse box i mean obviously you can follow their instructions and obviously their instructions should are going to be geared towards people who are, are paying the money i'm just trying to throw out a free tool for people who are using this uh for free posting this up to youtube i'm sure they're going to go back and fix that uh relatively quickly i don't want to be there so this is the put this is where you'd come for all of that other stuff see i even went through you can see these are highlighted because i added my feeds to those and add all that stuff waste of my time so just here on the sticky player so i have mine i set it to the bottom here's the here's my rss feed and i just want my latest episode to show up there hey here's here's the name uh, i don't yeah i don't necessarily know if i want people being able to just i mean i guess people download them other things uh image url i actually pulled that from like the buzzsprout website i i obviously i could have come in like so I don't here in media I could have gone and like looked for all of my all of my pictures which is where I could have grabbed that from but I didn't I grabbed it from the website to to get it in don't know why I'm clicking around there so that's that and this is style and then here's where people can share it. Does Google Plus really even exist anymore? So when I, and then here you can tell it which page is uh, not to be on. And then you just click your save changes once you've got yourself all set up here. Um, you will have to this I think it does start with disable feature. You will have to also enable the feature here. Uh, you can put it on the top, put it on the bottom. Those are your two choices. Give it your RSS feed. Tell if you just want like a specific episode that you want to highlight. I, yeah. Put the show name. Select the color. Mine shows up as white though, so I'm not really sure if everything is kind of like working. All that stuff. Again, exclude pages. Save your changes. And that will... We'll go over and it'll it'll show us. And right down here is where you can see. Here's the picture name. I said I don't know why that highlight color isn't isn't there. It's all it's just a white bar for me. But that's where it, and people will play your website right there on your front page. Go back to the dashboard, and the transcript is where we're going to do most of our work here, because. That required me to do most of the work. A, I couldn't find it, but like I said, you can follow these instructions. These are what I ended up finding and able to use. But I'll go through real quick how to, how to how to do that because it was the first time I was doing this. Maybe the this may be the first time you're you're doing this. 
So again, show logo is going to be there. You're going to put your show title. And that's where you save your changes. That was the easy part. Um, the next is, and I'll show you the post that I just made. Because this is where I got a little confused. Because without the player there, the the transcript, I got, so when I got down to here, adding the final touches, it was like, okay, how do I, how do I do this? Is in here because it's like below the player but you're not going to put the player on there i have my own player obviously so and this i i already uh, published but i'll go through how to do that so here's the you know you put your title if you're familiar obviously if you're hosting on wordpress this is the what i pull in from buzzsprout and then you can find this type of block without I want to show you that they, they had the I forget where they stick them maybe they call them widgets yeah so here are these which come in when you down when you add the plugin these are going to be there and they're kind of useless to you right now without uh, a license code if you haven't paid for it. so again we're talking about using the free plan here these are useless but right here this short code this is a new one for me maybe you're familiar with it um not sure why, why you need me to walk you through this if you're already familiar with this but this was the this this uh was the block you want to add so you want to add that short code but as you can see i already had that there so we'll uh delete this block out remove block and then fuse box underscore transcript, which if you do have the instructions open, you can copy from right here. And try not to draw that period in. That I uh, couldn't get that period in, not come in. So <laughs> good luck with that. But you just highlight, copy, paste it in. And what that then allows is you scroll all the way down. So obviously here's all the here's all the stuff. I have I've already uploaded a thing. Here's this transcript down here which will be all the way at the bottom. And here's where you can upload your transcript. Now, again, it does not, the fuse box does not do the transcript for you. Come over here to my Buzzsprout. So here's my episodes. So I'll show you this. Here's one that's, uh, I already, there's one that I did, but I'll show you where I got that from if you're using Buzzsprout. So I used, obviously we're talking about using the free plan. So I went with, yeah, we'll try it out for free. We'll try theirs for, apparently they're, they're testing there. So for now you can get Buzzsprout, Buzzsprout transcripts for free, which means Tony needs to go back and take advantage of that in all of his episodes before he has to pay to have all of his things transcribed. But there is another one, which I guess is better. And my shows are pretty short, so it's pretty inexpensive. But you'll tell it to, hey, click, you can click on that and tell it to transcribe. And I tell it that only one person, because I do a single person, and transcribe the episode. And in 10 minutes, you'll get that. It'll uh, You'll get an email. You can come here and be like, hey, yep, here it is. And here's the transcript. Uh, export that. You see it downloaded as a text. Now, you can use this text file. You can upload that right here. What I did was load it up into a Google uh, Google Doc here and then run it through. So I've got the Grammarly, the free version, obviously. So I ran it through Grammarly a couple of times and I read some of the stuff, removing a lot of ums. I say um and you know, cringeworthy uh, amounts of times when I'm doing my podcast, which I'm sure people love and makes me sound not as smart as I like to think I am. But... I ran through Grammarly a couple of times after I'd read kind of the first part here and then come up to file, download, and make a text file out of it. So that was there. And then coming back in, upload the text file and it will be in your downloads. And there it would be right there, episode 29 transcript. That you can use either one. This is the one that I ran through Grammarly and kind of eyeballed to remove ums and use checks and spell checks and everything like that so you would upload that i click cancel because as you can see i've already put it in and then 
boom that puts it there and I've already uh, published this I did you know you do all the SEO stuff you add an image this is just for this block but here's for the document you have all the tags and everything and then you can either schedule that to post if you're doing it in the future or um, I'll show you what that looks like now. Give me your big WordPress image. Here's the title. Here's the here's the player that I brought. I bring this over from Buzzsprout. So you know, done back to episode when I want to you know embed this one episode. That's where you get that. There's that code. And then there's the transcript of which you you know. People can break it out. They can download it for themselves in a PDF. And that's exactly what you're going for. Plus, you have all of those words that you spoke now as part of your SEO. So, and then the rest of your show notes, and hopefully you've added some sort of call to action. And that's setting up Fusebox free plan. Uh, I know that. Uh, a lot of people maybe have paid for it. It's less than a hundred bucks for the for the year. It looks like at their introductory price, but I was having trouble with the support, so I want to put this free plan together for you. Hopefully, you found it useful. Uh, and while you're here, you know, check out my website. Check out uh, that's www.sidehustlebookkeeper.com, or check out my podcast where I post stuff more regularly than I do to YouTube. That's a, a weekly podcast I do. Uh, if you didn't read it, it's the Side Hustle Startup Show. And thanks a lot.